So today we're going to be making black codfish tacos. Uh, these are all the ingredients right here. So we'll go ahead and start to prepare this. Um, first you want to wash it. Just make sure everything's clean. Sometimes the restaurant or the distributor is not as clean as you'd like it to be. Uh, I'm going to do two. So one I'm going to do with skin and the other piece I'm going to do with I don't want it to get too fishy on here. So you can just pull a small piece up here and then when you cut it, I usually just cut away from myself. Usually it's easier if you do it alongside. So you can start it here and then finish going that way. You can angle it a little bit just to get the least amount of meat. Next you're gonna we want the pieces to be to cook evenly, so we need them to be a little bit smaller. And then this one will be the second one. And I'm just gonna cut it with the scissor because it's hard to cut it with the skin. And if you can get some really sharp scissors, it just makes life a lot easier. So this is the beer powder. So I've already pre-mixed it, so you can kind of see it here. You want it to be about this texture. If you're not sure, just follow the instructions. So next thing we'll do is to make the guacamole. We've done two of them. So one of them is gonna be just the regular salt and pepper. And then the other one will be with the pre-made seasoning. One, just to try it out, and two, to be a little bit healthier. So this one will just be the all-natural one with just some onions. Normally I would put cilantro, but it wasn't very fresh today, so I didn't buy it. Alright, so that's the first one. Here is the second one. This one... A lot of this is just optimized for speed and time and least amount of dishes. This one is just some sea salt. Go ahead and add that in. Here we'll add some, some Japanese seasoning. And then for this one, we will add the McCormick's. So after that, we'll go ahead and mix everything up. I would like to add some lemon juice, so some lemon juice to both. This keeps the guacamole from oxidizing. Turn it brown. There we go. And mix everything together. I'm gonna sample it just to see, make sure it's not too salty. Or, this one needs just a little bit more seasoning. Okay, that tastes amazing. Um, this one. All right, this one tastes really good too. Next, we'll add our onion. I do not like the outer layer, so I'll take off the extra. Do it as fine as you can. Then mix that in. Tastes good. Add some tomato. It does make it a little bit watery. I'm just going to do regular tomato. The other taco, I'm going to use the pre made salsa. So, next thing we'll do is start to preheat our frying pan. Uh, I'm going to heat it up first and then we'll cook it for six minutes. And I like to get the pan hot and then add the oil. So, we'll go ahead and put the fish inside the of your batter. Just, okay, we'll just add all of them in actually. Alright, so, so here's my flour and here's my corn. Two flour and one corn. Go ahead and add the cheese in so that when the hot fish comes out, it'll melt the cheese. You can actually put these in the oven to 
kind of heat it up a little bit too. So for one of them, I'm doing the, this is, so for this one is the all natural one. I'm gonna be doing just a regular guacamole. For the other one, the corn, I'm just gonna do the pre-made dressing. Lettuce. Cut up. Try a little bit just to make sure it tastes good. Let's set our timer for six minutes and start it. And then what we'll do is get the oil. Uh, if it steams like that, it's probably pretty good. I'll try to do the least amount of oil. Third one, fish a little bit. The sound, the time, we're at five minutes. Usually I'll go at least two minutes on one side and then I'll flip it. All right, so just so you can take a look at it. This is how it's cooking. I will be flipping it. Uh, just try to remember which order you put it in. So yeah, we're at four minutes, so we're gonna go ahead and flip. This is our first piece. So you can see the browning on it. So we keep it covered for another two more minutes. And then once that is finished cooking, we're gonna turn it down to about half the heat and that'll let it kind of finish on its own. A spicy avocado salsa. Just a little bit. We want to turn it down just a little bit. Um, I'm gonna cook that last side. So now we're at two minutes, so we're just gonna let it finish. I turned down the heat to like a low medium, and I just let everything kind of finish up. I don't particularly like the fish too raw, so I like to cook it just right. So let me get the uh, instillery thermometer. So we're at 76. Go ahead and turn off the heat now. Good. Tastes very good. So, next thing we want to do is kind of get rid of some of the oil. We'll put some napkins to just. So, let some of the oil just drain out a little bit. And then we'll go ahead and uh, prep the fish tacos. So this one is the no skin. This one is wet skin. And then this one is just because I'm still hungry. Right, and so there we have it, black cod fish tacos. I want to try this one. I think this one will taste the best out of all of them. Mm. Amazing. To be honest, I don't think it really matters which guacamole you use. It tastes so good. So yeah, that one tastes really good. Probably should have took the photo first, but just wanted to eat it while it was hot. 
Next time, I'll probably get like a little mini taco stand. All right, see you guys next time.